One of the common uh, catastrophes that occurs as a result of negligence is the failure to diagnose uh, something that is compressing the spinal cord, which results in symptoms related to uh, the compression, whether it's uh, weakness in the legs or paralysis or uh, uh, loss of uh, sensation in the extremities, particularly the lower extremities, uh, loss of bladder and bowel control. There's a name for that in medicine. It's called cauda equina syndrome. And when cauda equina syndrome occurs, it is a uh, medical and surgical emergency. Time is of the essence because it must be diagnosed and uh, treated as soon as possible. The longer the pressure occurs on the spinal cord, the more likely the blood flow to the spinal cord is going to be impaired and death of the nerves of the spinal cord result. So early diagnosis, prompt diagnosis and treatment is essential. One of the common questions is what are the signs and symptoms of cauda equina syndrome and how do they progress? Typically, uh, there's a pre-existing injury to the spine, whether it's an automobile accident or trauma of some other sort. It can be as a result of uh, what happens in the operating room. It can be a congenital problem, um, like a cyst on the spinal cord. But they always start, almost always start, first with back pain. Now, back pain is ubiquitous and it's commonplace and it occurs on 40% of people at some time. So back pain by itself is not enough. But what happens is that back pain then progresses to other symptoms. The patient starts getting numbness down his leg or her leg. They can't uh, straighten their knee or they can't bear weight on the leg. So weakness of the leg uh, is the next set of symptoms. It can then progress. Uh, patients will develop bladder or bowel problems. They uh, have involuntary uh, urinary symptoms. Uh, this combination of back pain with progression to numbness and weakness in the uh, one leg and then followed by uh, bladder and bowel problems is the definition of cauda equina syndrome. It is always a an emergency. When these symptoms progress, they must be recognized immediately and surgical release of the pressure that's causing the compression of the uh, nerves of the spinal cord must be done to prevent permanent injury.